hi girls welcome back to a new tutorial so today I'm back with uh, a new topic we're gonna talk about uh, my favorite perfumes and uh, light or uh, fresh perfumes for summer and winter and what I've been using and uh, buying again and again uh, for these last years so we'll start with the cheapest and then we'll go to the most expensive also uh, I will share with you what's on my wish list from uh, the perfumes and what I think of. so without further ado we'll start with the first one so you must have seen this on a previous video this is Aqua Colonia this is uh, Melissa and Verbena scent is very fresh and summery. I love this and I've been uh, buying it for years now. Uh, you can find this mostly in German uh, countries, in Douglas department store and in different countries as well but usually I buy it from Germany or back home they have it as well. This uh, 4711 is a famous brand it seems it's not very expensive this is like less than ten dollars but the big bottles are like 29 around 29 euros i think or 19 euros this is very fresh just like it says it smells like verbena and melissa whenever i spray this i feel like i'm coming out from the beach it's really nice scent if you like this type of smell then i would recommend it uh, it doesn't last long if you spray it on your body, but I have a habit to spray uh, my uh, Eau de Toilette Colonial perfume on my clothes so they stay much longer. And once it sits on your clothes for some time, it smells even better. So I would recommend this if you like fresh scents. The next one, <coughs> which also I keep buying all the time, it's Eau Dynamisante from Clarence. So this one is one of my favorites. I cannot stay without this. It has to be part of my perfume collection. This is, I think this is unisex. Uh, it's very energizing, like it says. It's a uh, energizing water. And uh, it's for me, it's fresh, a bit spicy. Uh, and it's very energetic like when you spray it you feel like you feel nice you feel like rejuvenating you feel like uh, you're ready for your day so at times when you don't feel okay or you feel not energetic this is the best one to spray this comes in 100 ml and it's like, I think it's around 29 uh, euros or dollars as well. So this is one of the uh, Eau de Toilette or Cologne, which also I keep purchasing all the time. The next one, it's from Gela. It's the collection of Aqua Allegoria. So this one also I've been using for many years. From the first time I bought this, I kept on repurchasing. This Neurolia uh, Bianca, they discontinued it for some time. I don't know what's the reason. And then they started uh, making it again. So this smells like, like it says, Neurolia. It's from the Neuro Neurolia flower, but it's a bit strong. Uh, comparing to other uh, perfumes or eau de toilette which uh, uses Neurolia. It's, uh, you feel it's concentrated, so you just need to spray very little for it to uh, show. Again, I spray this on my clothes, because on my body it doesn't last. And this one, I'm not sure how many bottles I've purchased through the years, but this also I keep purchasing all the time. Because I love it, it's very nice. So when I need a stronger scent but still fresh, this is what I put. <coughs> okay, this is the Hermes uh, Orange Verte. So this one is very fresh as well. Just like it says, it smells like orange, uh, fresh orange. And it's very refreshing and ener energizing as well. Like... Again, if you want to feel good and start your day from the right 
foot then this is the one to spray of course Clarence as well but this one is very nice this is I think my third or fourth bottle now they also have the uh, orange concentré concentrated orange and it's even uh, better than this so if you like fresh scent this is a must they have uh, I think three other scents one is rhubarb one is uh, citron noir the citron noir is very strong and sharp so it doesn't suit me and one more the other one is mandarin it's just uh, which is a clearer green than this it's mandarin smell it's nice as well but again it's not for me this is very fresh again if you spray it on your clothes it smells really nice later on uh, all of these they last maybe four hours maximum so you need to spray every now and then so these are the ones which I have for now I'll put the other ones which I'm gonna talk about I'll put the picture on the uh, top of this video one of them I uh, keep on purchasing as well uh, it's from uh, Christian Dior it's Escal a Portofino so Escala Portofino is a very sharp citrus smell, but it's a very fresh, very fresh smell, which lasts for very long. You know, I keep on purchasing this bottle, but once, you know, I didn't have it. And there was a girl who passed by and I could smell like the Escala Portofino. I could tell immediately that that was the perfume and it smells so so nice it was really fresh and you know uh, attractive in a way in a positive way uh, so Escala Portofino also they discontinued the eau de toilette for some time and they made two other scents but again uh, they put it back but it's not uh, available in all countries in Europe I think it is available but in many countries I couldn't find it so if you're lucky and you like these fresh perfumes, Escala Portofino is one of the ones you must have. Also, uh, I will be purchasing it soon as well. The next one which I have used is the Penhaligans. Penhaligans is a bit expensive, but it's a nice one. It's the Quercus. I think it's the Quercus, so that's how you pronounce it. And again, it's citrus. You can tell by now that I love all citrus smell. I generally love citrus and herbal smell, so those are the best perfumes for uh, or perfumes or eau de toilette for me. So the uh, Quercus is very fresh scent. Uh, again, when you spray it first time, you might be confused. Maybe it is good, maybe it is not good, maybe it's for me, maybe not. But once it sits for some time, for an hour or two, or once you get used to it, it's amazing. You cannot live without it anymore. It's really nice. It's a bit pricey, like a bit more than $100. But it's a nice to have, uh, a nice eau de toilette to have uh, in your collection. Also from the same collection of Aqua Allegoria, there is the Herba Fresca and there is the Bergamot. Uh, I think it's green Bergamot or bergamot fresh something like that both of them are very fresh and nice like it says the bergamot is like orange or citrus it smells very fresh and uh, fruity uh, and it gives you that clean smell uh, herba fresca is the same so they go well same similar to hermes orange vet and no maybe this one not clarence okay the uh one I have two, three, yeah, three perfumes on my list which I want to buy, but one of them I'm not sure because for how long it lasts, it's very expensive. It's the Tom Ford Neroli. It's amazingly, amazingly nice. It smells divine. It smells so nice. I don't know. The way he did the Neroli, it smells so special, special, but it's very expensive. I think 50 ml is around 260 dollars 
or 600 reals, I'm not sure. But I know it's when I tried it and I checked the price, it's too expensive and it doesn't last long. Within four hours, the uh, smell went away and I couldn't, you know, smell it any more. So to put... <coughs> To put that amount of money uh, in uh, in an eau de toilette or a perfume, it's, I don't know, maybe one day. Okay, the next one is Diptyque. Diptyque is a French perfume, uh, or parfumeur, and again, it's in Nerolia. It's very fresh, very refreshing, but also it's classy and it's elegant, like, it's different from other Neroli. I don't know, every, you know, house of perfumer, they have, I don't know, they have their own recipe to make the uh, scent different from uh, each other, I don't know. But the Nerolia diptych is different from all the other ones. It's again very fresh, very nice, but I cannot compare it to the Nerolia in Guerlain or the Neroli in uh, Tom Ford. So again, diptych is on my list. And it's very nice if you like classy, fresh and elegant uh, smell. Now the last one is a strong one. It's completely different from this. But uh, it's very... Uh, how to say it? It's very attractive scent. Without, you know... It's not a shocking one. It's an Arabic perfume. Usually Arabic perfume are known for being, you know, a bit shocking, provocative. And um, it's either you like them or you reject them. That's it. But this one is pleasantly attractive. Like when you smell it, when I smelled it on people, I would ask them immediately, what's your smell? And me who likes only fresh perfumes, I ask about this one. And it's the Montal. It's Montal Oud. Again, you'll see the picture here. Uh, it's strong, yes, but it's pleasantly strong. You can wear it without feeling like uh, overwhelmed by the smell or you can feel a headache. I don't know, but for me, I would have a headache whenever the perfume is very strong or whenever it is not well made. So this uh, Montal, it's very nice. They have... They have a huge collection uh, of the uh, different scent in Montal, but this one, uh, yeah, a big collection. Uh, this one, the Oud, is, is one of the best. Uh, and this one is around $100, uh, no, less than $100, sorry, around $80. So it's affordable. And... That's it. I will put the link of all these uh, perfumes or eau de toilette in the description box so you can check them out and see their prices and see what you like. Let me know what kind or type of perfumes or eau de toilette you like and share it with me in the uh, comment box. Also, if you like fresh uh, eau de toilette or perfumes, which one do you like the most and which one would you uh, buy? And that's it for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.